Genius. What's up, guys? Welcome to another DIY. I feel if I go too far over my face stretches of this lens. Hold on. <coughs> Not Corona. We're good. Today's DIY might seem a little odd, and that's because it is. And that's really why I was attracted to it. A few weeks ago, a friend of mine sent me a TikTok of somebody making a clock with resin and chicken nuggets. If you guys want to see the TikTok, I'll have the link in the description down below. This was inspired by that. I think it's just a super cool, unique art piece that I was like, this could be kind of fun to do. I have all the materials. I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need, where to get it, and how to do this. Before we do that, I'll dress the shirt just because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on it. It's a shirt I like, and I'm wearing it and it looks like I sell coupons. <laughs> Let's get into it, guys. This is how you make a chicken nugget clock. Quick little thing before we get started. Guys, I became a tennis player. Check out this racket, just amazing for spanking. I mean, hitting the ball. Isn't this so sick? So if anybody out there wants to challenge me to a tennis match, let's go. This is what we're gonna need to make a chicken nugget clock. First things first, the most important ingredient other than the nuggets is some resin. This right here is a resin from a company called Art Resin. I got these online. Now resin is expensive, so this DIY is gonna be a little bit more expensive. This right here is about $200. The reason why I'm using art resin is because there's no toxic fumes. So you could do this inside. It could dry inside. You'll be completely fine. There are resins out there that are meant for like bar tops that'll have this really bad smelling toxic fumes. Stay away from those. So you can get this on their website. This is not two jugs of resin. This is the resin and this is the hardener. Most resins will come with two parts and it'll be a one for one part. So whatever you pour of this, you got to match the exact same amount of this. Without one or the other, it'll never turn to a hard plastic. You're gonna need like a clock mold. And I found clock molds on eBay, but it was gonna take until mid-June towards end of June to get. When I'm committed to doing a DIY, it's gotta happen here and now. So we're gonna use a cake pan. I don't know if this is gonna work in a cake pan. Fair warning. 12 inch by two inch deep cake pan. I got this at Michael's. Anything that's round and will have enough depth to submerge a chicken nugget is what you're gonna need. Since we're using the cake pan, you're also gonna need some mold release. Now this is just a spray. So you just spray the mold before the resin goes in and it's actually gonna prevent it from sticking to the actual mold. Don't know if it's gonna work with a cake pan, but we're gonna try anyways. Clock movement kit. This is what is actually gonna make the clock. This is like the guts of the clock. Battery operated. Actually, I bought numbers. They're plastic numbers. We're gonna put that in the clock just so it's a little bit easier to read. It looks better aesthetically. And then you're gonna need a drill. That's all you're gonna need. You're working with resin here. Don't just do it anywhere because the second you spill resin somewhere and it hardens, Game over. We're gonna do it over there, where, where I do all my DIYs. Let's go there. Step one, the resin. End cuffs. By the way, I didn't put that in the list, but you're gonna need something to mix the resin in. At this stage, you're gonna need the mold release, and you're also gonna need your clock template. Another thing I left out is you're gonna need something to stir the resin with, something that is disposable. So we're using popsicle sticks. Step one, you're gonna take your mold, and you're gonna wanna spray a layer of mold release. Leave it for five minutes to dry, then we're gonna do one more spray, and then leave that for five minutes. <laughs> Just coat it. Leave that to dry for five minutes. It's been 10 minutes. The mold release has had a chance to dry. Next, we're going to start pouring the resin. You need, oh my God, you need to make sure whatever you pour of resin, you pour the exact same amount of hardener. We're going to pour up to the bottom line. This right here is resin. And this cup, we're going to pour hardener. And now we're gonna pour both. So let's pour the resin into a third cup. Scrape the sides of the cup. And now we'll add the hardener. We're gonna mix for a full two minutes. Don't mix too fast or you're gonna add air bubbles. Take your mold and you're gonna pour right in the center. And just let it slide out itself. You're gonna need a barbecue lighter or a heat gun. Um, today I'm gonna use a heat gun. I'm gonna show you why. You can see from the stirring that we did, it's actually created a lot of air bubbles, all those little specks. We're gonna use a heat gun to pop all of those. It's a very, very quick process and now you have crystal clear resin. I think we're gonna need a little bit more. Just in the middle again.
all air bubbles are gone. Love it, it's my favorite part every time I mess with resin. Let's talk timing. With this clock that we're gonna make, it's gonna require lots of layers. It's gotta be half dried, half dried. Half dried time frame is anywhere after three to five hours of your first pour. Right now it's 11.30, we're gonna come back here, maybe two o'clock, and we're gonna put in the numbers. Fortunately from 11.30 to two o'clock, there's nothing you can do. You need to let this dry. This, this DIY is literally an all day thing. I'll see you guys at 2 p.m. And it's 2 p.m. You can see when I put this toothpick and I touch the surface, pull it up, it kind of remains in that, that, that state of being like touched. That was the worst way to explain it. <laughs> It looks like it can actually hold the plastic numbers at this point. Yeah, we're gonna put the numbers in now. This is optional, by the way. You don't need to put these in. One by one, we're gonna put them in, obviously, the other way. Now, I know you're wondering, why is he putting the numbers in backwards? It's because we're working from front to back. So, th that's literally the explanation. <laughs> I'm using a toothpick to reposition it once it's in the resin. Now we've got our numbers set, we're gonna let this sit for about 40 minutes and then we're gonna pour another layer to lock in the numbers. Let's let that set for two hours. It is now 5 p.m. and I'm on my way to McDonald's. Maybe now's a good time to mention. Guys, follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy. It's where I post a lot of behind the scenes from the making of these videos. At Danocracy, go check it out. We have to order two 10 packs because they don't do a 12 pack. And we're just gonna pick the best 12 and then I'll, I'll eat the rest. <laughs> two 10 piece chicken McNuggets. She sounded like a cartoon character. <laughs> Great, thank you. Next stop, home. We got the nuggets, baby. Let's hope that they're uh, the best looking nuggets ever because they're gonna live forever in a clock. It is now 5.40 in the evening. The sun is like destroying this place right now. We got 10, 20, 20 nuggets here. We're gonna pick the best 12. We're gonna let them cool, then put them in the resin. That's a good one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So for this stage, I decided to put the nuggets on top of the numbers instead of just in front of them. I thought it might look better with the, the nugget in the background of the numbers. And this is, this is how it looked. <laughs> nuggets are in. We got another air bubble right here. Looks good. Okay, next step is waiting again. 40 minutes. We're gonna see if these are stuck enough that we could pour in the rest of our resin. 7.30. <laughs> Guys, this DIY has taken all day. Like seriously, right from the morning, low ass process. I hope it'll be worth it. We're now gonna pour the rest of it and then we're gonna leave it overnight. So I hope you guys are enjoying these DIY videos. I love doing them. If you guys are enjoying them, there's a few other ones I've done recently. I've done these for years. If you guys wanna check out my other DIYs, I'll have a playlist in the description down below. Give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more. Go ahead and pour. I don't really wanna pour on the nuggets. I want it to seep underneath if there's like any crevices. Wait three minutes, pop the air bubbles. The nuggets right now at this point are halfway to three quarters of the way covered in resin. I'm gonna let this layer dry for at least an hour and a half. Overall, guys, it's a pretty simple thing once you know what the tasks are. It's just, it's repetitive and it's, you gotta have a lot of patience. It's around 7.30, so we'll come back at maybe a quarter after eight. Um, man. It is nine o'clock. As you can see, it's getting darker in here. We got one more layer. That was actually a lie. There was a few more layers, but you'll notice I'm not pouring on the nuggets still. Just let the resin cover it when it's ready. We're almost about halfway through this resin. So this has already been like $100 worth of resin. It is not cheap. See, we're gonna need at least two more of those pours. It is officially a quarter past nine. Okay guys, we're gonna let this dry overnight and we'll see if it worked in the morning. Let's hope tomorrow goes well. All right, see you guys in the morning. Ugh. Morning, let me give you an update. Last night I poured two more layers on top of the nuggets. By the way, it's pretty much hard. Still has a little ways to go. If I push it, it'll go in just a tiny bit so it's still not fully, fully cured. I'm stressing because I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. And I've got almost, I've got over $100 into this clock right now. Once this is fully cured, if it does not just pop out of this cake mold, we're gonna have to get a saw and actually cut. Oh my God, it's gonna be so much work. Oh, we're back. Charlie, guess how much I just spent? This right here was $375. We got a Dremel. So this is to actually cut the cake mold off. This was 120 bucks. We got a cutting kit for the Dremel. We got this guy. This is called a plunge router. So this is actually gonna cut in an indent 
where the clock guts have to go in the clock. This was 150 bucks. So I had to buy a bit kit for 40 bucks. I thought this clock was gonna maybe cost 150 bucks. We're now at $640 on this clock. Let's check it out and see if it's dried at all. All right, how can we... Oh, I think it disconnected there a bit. <gasps> Guys, oh, we may not need the Dremel. Oh, I can see air coming into the bottom. Oh, baby. If we can get this out, I can return that Dremel. I'm going to slam this on my balcony. Not in a sexual way. <laughs> it's quarantine. Just let that one go. Oh my God. 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 Yes. Look at this thing. It worked. It actually worked. The mold release worked. We made the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guys, it actually worked. Oh my God, I'm so proud of this. Now we've got the clock out of the mold. We need to find the exact middle because that's where we're going to drill. So we can pop this guy in. There, there. So this area right here, that's the center. We're through. Reset. Okay, with that being said, let's see what the Dremel does and if it's gonna help us in this situation. Again, no idea what I'm doing, but let's let's uh, give us a go. Oh my God, this is so messy. We're doing this outside. All of that would have been on my floor in my house. We did what we needed to do. It now sits a little bit below the surface. We've cut out the indent. Hour, beauty, minute, beauty. Then it goes bolt, beauty. And then it goes second. Okay, hold on, is that it? Pop a battery on here and see if we got some life. We have the battery, one double A battery. <gasps> Guys, we did it. <laughs> It is actually working. Oh my God. I am so proud. This might be my most proudest DIY I've ever done. We've successfully made a chicken nugget clock with real nuggets, totally from scratch. I'm so proud of myself, guys. That is amazing. How cool is that? There you guys have it. That is how you make a DIY chicken McNugget clock. If you guys want to see some behind the scenes or additional photos, go to my Instagram at Danocracy. If you have any questions, you can DM me there or even any other suggestions. Oh yeah, McDonald's. Maybe you can give me like a year's supply of McNuggets for making this clock. What do you say? Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. There you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe or at least the very freaking least Give this video a thumbs up or share it with somebody. Spent $600 to make it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.